All right. Now, <clears throat> as I was saying, there was a uh, video out there. Hi, oh, jeez. Uh, Izzy, Izzo, he does a lot of custom carpentry and uh, carpentry fabrica fabrications of all types of different things. And uh, he's going in for back surgery. And uh, he was talking about different things. And I said, you know what, I had back surgery. And he was talking about some type of a cage. Uh, and I don't know if they actually changed. I'm sure times have changed and things like that. But I don't know if you can see them. But there's the cages that I have in my back. Now, they're about that long. They're threaded and they gouge out the top and the bottom and they thread them in and then the bone that they gouged out or chipped out they crush up and pack in the center of this and then over time it fuses together from top to bottom as one solid piece hence fusion so that's what the cages were back in 06, 04, 07. Now, what's this one? This one is probably, oh, that's only one right there, which you're not going to see. All you got to do is see glares of light. It's too dark to be on there. These are the originals, by the way. Okay, there they are again. You may there you go. Okay, and that's the cage. There's two cages there, and they go in from the back when they didn't. They now they're saying, oh, go into the front. It's better. I don't think so. I went in for surgery uh, Monday at about 10:30, 11 o'clock in the morning. I got out of surgery about four. I was home the following Tuesday, that Tuesday rather. Uh, so I stayed overnight, 11 o'clock in the morning. I'm checking out and I'm heading home. There, again, that's the fusion. So, now, I went back to work the following Monday. <coughs> so I went back to work the following Monday at that point. Now a friend of mine had a fusion done and they went in through the front. And that was three months ago. And he still having problems. Oh, I got more over here and I got to put away. He's still having problems with, with healing and things because of the, uh, the healing process. Uh, it takes a lot longer. It's easier for them, but it isn't easier for you. In my opinion. Again, I'm not a doctor. I can just tell you. I had a fusion done. L5S1 on a Monday. The following Monday I was back to work. A friend of mine had a fusion done. They went in through the front. Uh, October. And he still can't go back to work because he's still healing and sore. Now, he did come off the back brace, but at that point, uh, he's having a hell of a time. Not a lot. Some people have harder times than others. But if you think about it, if you go in through the front, you got to move 
all that shit out of the way to get to the back. Where'd you go into the back? You're there. Now, where it's easier for them is if they go in through the front, they don't have to work backwards. So it is a lot easier for them. It's a lot quicker for them. So they're in and out making just as much money for less time. Uh, and then I know another one that's still in a brace. Now it's only been eight, eight weeks, I think. Yeah, I think it's been eight weeks. I'm not positive. Um, but they had a fusion that was up in their uh, back of their neck. So my son had a fusion in the back of his neck. Oh, Jesus. Uh, my son had a fusion done on his uh, back of his neck area and they went in through the front of the neck or the side of the neck and uh, it took him two or three months to where he can actually be able to move things around and things and then he ended up with the hospital because of, there was a staph infection he ended up getting over it and now he's got a pinched nerve in his back where his arm is because where they went in apparently they did something else. And the more shit they move, the more chance of scar tissue. Because when they go in through the front, they got to start moving everything out of the way. You know, now they're not cutting it, but they're disturbing it. Uh, we're talking muscle too. They are cutting through muscle and scar tissue. Now that's my problem, and you're going to have that problem regardless. If you have surgery, you're going to have scar tissue. It just depends on where the surgery is and how much scar tissue you end up with will depend upon if you're going to have problems later or not. In my case, about four months after the surgery, I felt great for four months. Four months after the surgery, I started getting that pinch back and the leg. Six months I go back in, they do another scan. Scar tissue. Scar tissue is now growing back into the same nerve that they freed up by putting the fusion in. And it continued to grow. So now, not only did it grow into S1, it grew into S2 as well. Now, when it, I said to the doctor one day, well, can you go in there with a laser and kind of just, you know, shave it off the, 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 uh, the nerve? He goes, no, he says, because it actually grows right into the nerve. You know, it doesn't press up alongside of it. It actually grows into it. So, but anyway, um, Izzy, Izzo, uh, good luck, whatever it is you do, and, uh, and I uh, hope for the best, naturally, you know, because it's never a guarantee when it comes to back surgery, because it's the highway to all your nerves, and it makes it real tough, even for the best, so... I just try to look at it logically. <laughs> the less they have to move and cut, the less scar tissue you end up with. And the less they have to move and cut, the quicker you heal. That's just my thoughts. Again, I'm not a doctor. But I have been through some of this, so I've got a pretty good idea <laughs> what happens. Uh, basically, you end up having surgery after surgery after surgery unless you get a doctor that's going to be somewhat honest with you at one point or another. 
Uh, and this is just the way I feel.